Hi everybody, it's Jessica, the Dollhouse Curator, and welcome back to the Curated Dollhouse. So first of all, y'all, I have to say something is like crazy acting up with my phone. So if this is jumping too much, um, I'm probably not going to use this video, but I'm not 100% sure. So if y'all hear this, then y'all know it looks pretty decent during the editing process. But anyway, we are here today because I have uh, my, I guess I'm just going to go with tradition and call this my after Christmas dollhouse build so last year i did a christmas build and then a lot of the gifts that i got in that um for christmas i built a dollhouse using those items and i kind of did the same thing for my birthday gifts and then i decided to do the same thing again here for christmas so this is my after christmas build it is filled with a lot of stuff that either i made or we got for christmas and we have two different sections this time to go through these are not connected at all it's just kind of what i threw up there for a preliminary build but up top we have our i'm calling this my kenergy fresh and faded fashion house and then on the bottom, we have just like a little home for like a performing art school dorm or little house. Don't don't ask me why I put it up there. It was just a thought popped in my head and I went with it. it. Gave me an opportunity to use some other dolls and I thought it was cute. So we're here to give y'all the tour of this. I have a couple of videos planned for this one that I think y'all will really enjoy. And then we are testing out the concepts for our big Kennergy um, dollhouse that I told y'all we were going to do in the last video and a couple of weeks ago. So I think for this time, because I love the top so much, we're going to start here at the bottom on what we have set up and then we're going to move to the top. So down here, y'all, I just wanted to do something really easy, like house looking and I wanted to use a lot more of my dolls. So I pulled out my Creatable World, my Illy doll and some of my new petite dolls that I got for Christmas. Actually, she's not even in here. She's in the other room because she's also in another video. And then there's my Supergirl Barbie that I got for Christmas. I actually love her. I found out she has the Daisy face mold, just kind of with more of a snatched paint. And absolute like, love this doll. She is number four on the list of favorite dolls. That is my favorite face mold. I love a short-haired doll because y'all know how I, you don't know how I'm about doing doll hair, but I don't really do it. We leave it down. We do a quick ponytail or whatever, but she turned out to be adorable. I got some great new clothes that came in. So, there's my Illy doll and some of the new outfits that we got, and then I also got from Walmart the display that comes on the rainbow high shoe box someone had like broke it off but left it there at the store and they sold it to me and I was so happy so I got six pairs of rainbow high shoes and my Illy doll can wear them all that was awesome and then I am using at least one of my creatable world dolls in this little diorama and then we are also sticking with our blue jean furniture and kind of leaning into that and then this is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite. So I got this. This is a My Fancy Life dining room table. I got this for Christmas. And it seats six people. So it has two of these end chairs that has the arms on it. And then all of the side chairs don't have arms on it. But I wanted a big table. So y'all don't know this about me, but I am a huge Scandal fan. I love that show. I love the Olivia Pope character, but my absolute favorite thing about that entire show was her conference room table. It was just this huge, like, wood stain, but it was like real random. Like, I love that table. And I have promised myself that one day I am going to make myself an Olivia Pope conference room table. But when I saw this set, I said, okay, with a little bit of forethought and some finagling, I can make this work. So it is pink, but I y'all know I don't do pink. So I just printed off some wood grain paper and covered it and then put this on top so that it gives it the wood grain. And I do have plans to go in and redo the chairs. I'm only going to be doing this bottom part. I don't know right now if I'm going to do a spray paint or if I want to cover it with a fabric. And I kind of think I maybe want to do slip cover, something temporary that I can maybe make a template for. It'll fit decently. And then, 
you know, I can make six or different sets and then I can switch them out when I want to. So I think I may try to do something, I may try to do something like that. That way I have the versatility, but this set is so good. And I'm showing y'all everything it comes with. So you get the six chairs, two with arms, four without. It comes with two candlesticks. Then it has this little fruit pedestal. It has a champagne bottle and ice bucket. It has six champagne flutes, six wine glasses, and six each of forks, knives, spoons, and like soup spoons. I thought that was just adorable that you got, you know, the regular spoon and the soup spoon. But yes, I love this table. I think it is absolutely awesome. And I am so glad that I got it. There is one other set of this Fancy Loft set that is a, not that are available. They have multiple that are available, but it's the bathroom and it has a stand-up shower. So y'all know that I did make a stand-up shower, but it has not fared well in this disorganized mess of room that we have created so i had to throw it away so I'll, i kind of want to get me the place set so i can make it over and then use it that way all right so enough about that um some other little fun things we got for christmas is so i got that which i thought was going to come in being a handheld like remote control but they were huge so again make sure you measure if you order in from timu i got this from timu but I was like, okay, I was like, well, it could be the console set itself. So I kept that in the scene. And then I also got actual good size controllers to use. So I think those are great. And then let's see as I'm moving over. We got some more uh, Make It Mini Foods and stuff. I found some that um, that I really wanted. I did want to get my hamburger. Uh, thank you to the Target employee who let me have the little uh, front cover thing off of the box. I really appreciate that. So that was super fun. So I got my hamburger that day. And let's see what else. In this kitchen, I just kind of set it up real basic. We're still figuring out how we're going to do this. But again, I just, I wanted to include all of my dolls and then show off some of the girl clothes that I got also. So that's why we did this little area here, but we'll keep tweaking. Next, we are going to the fashion house. Y'all, this is my favorite area of this dollhouse. I absolutely love it. This is just the preliminary concept right now because my whole goal is to take, like y'all saw the barbershop a couple of weeks ago. You're seeing the fashion house now. And then I have two other areas, maybe three, that I want to figure out for putting into my Ken-centric dollhouse. But y'all, I, I love this. And I'm going to walk y'all through some of the stuff that we've gotten because most of this, not all, most of this is new for Christmas. But all of these clothes are probably, I'm going to say 99.78% of these clothes are new. Hold on one second. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. So we're back. So I'm going to say for real, like 99.78% of these clothes are new within the last year because I have really up the amount of cans that I have in the curated dollhouse. And I have really been working to get the clothes right, kind of how I want them. Everyone's style is different, but I just didn't have the items that I really wanted for my cans to have the curator swag that I like to give my characters. So we'll put it that way. But anyway, we're going to start. So over here, I have hung up blue jeans and slacks and pants. So I ordered a few new packets, um, specifically blue jeans or sets that came with blue jeans this year for Christmas. And y'all, I was very excited. Not only did all of the jeans that I got come in like really decent, but they also, like, let me show you, they actually had belts. So um, this white belt was actually a gift from one of my doll friends. Thank you again. And, but I did get this brown. I got two brown belts and a black belt with the three pair of pants that I ordered. And they were really, really nice. So I actually have a pair of those pants on this doll right here. Let me bring him up here. There you go. So they are really good length. Like, I'm not going to finagle too much because I don't want to knock a bunch of stuff down. But they are good length. They fit really good. He does have the belt on as well. As you see, it's not perfectly on there. But they fit really good. And I think it was like $11 for one pair. And then another packet was like $14. But it was worth it to me because I wanted nicer jeans. 
So I wound up getting that. And then I have really been looking at different ways to get Ken shoes. So I've either been ordering from Amazon or from Timu, doing the um, Hot Wheels skateboard shoes. So a lot of the shoes you see in this area are those like Nike, I mean, not Nike, Hot Wheels skateboard shoes. They fit my Illy dolls great. They fit my Fresh dolls. They fit my Kens. They will, you can get your Barbie foot in there, but they're way too big for Barbie, even a curvy. But I was like, they're really nice for your Kens, your Illy, um, that, those dolls that have those kind of bigger feet. And then over here, I ordered a set that came with suits. So I wound up getting three different suits in the different sets that I ordered. So we have a nice regular blue one and then we have this blue pinstripe. And then I have this black one over here. So to tell the truth, the black one is kind of my least favorite because I, I'm not the big on the ankle. It's just like too short. And it's like a unitard under there. But I do have a nicer black suit that I can use, but I put that up there. Cause I was like, you know what? People are about the ankle now. This is not my style, but you know what? Each his own. So we'll work with that. And then this blue one actually fits really good. I think it would fit a buff can really nice. I just think the um, pattern all together is a bit much. So I am probably gonna use those separate. Like I think if I was doing, I don't know, maybe a Harry Potter theme, talking with Dumbledore and Voldemort in 1927, I'd maybe use that for Dumbledore's costume, but as just for our being like a full suit, no, I'll probably just use it as a sports jacket. But what else? Oh, and then, both of them came with shirts. So you see here's the blue one it has the polka dotted bow tie. It is a long sleeve shirt. And then the other one had this kind of just like muscle shirt. I really do like this. I, and I also, the collar does fold down, but I actually like it up on the doll. It looks really nice when it's like that. And then we got a lot of new shirts and stuff. So this is one of those shirts where it's just everything is just printed on there. And when I first got it, I was like, oh, it's, it's not bad. It's cute. And then I realized a couple of days before I had picked up these Hot Wheels shoes and it went with that shirt perfect. And then I was like, oh my God, now it's like my favorite shirt because that just looks so cute together. And then I have other shirts up here, just either some of my favorites or some of the nicer things that we're going to be going through here in another video here um, in a couple of days. Well, in a little while for y'all, it'll be like 20 minutes for me. Oh, also, I gotta say this too. So this sweater that I have my Dalvin doll in right here, this is one of those sets where it comes with like two sweaters and two pair of capris and two pair of boots that you get off Amazon, it's like $9.99. They're actually for the Barbies. But when I got them in, something told me to try it because I have always like used canned clothes for Barbie, but I've never, you can't really use Barbie clothes for Ken because of the proportions, maybe some coats sometimes. But some of these aftermarket items that we're ordering do have a bit more versatility. So now I have Barbie sweaters that I can also use for my Ken dolls and they look pretty decent. So I thought that was really nice. And let me put him back over here because we're going through this next set. So here, I have put a bunch of coats and overcoats and jackets. And some of these, like this green jacket right here, if I can show you, this is actually a Barbie jacket. It does not fit my can at all, but it is OD, olive, my favorite color of army green. And I have a hat that matches that jacket that it came with. And in one of the sets that I ordered for Christmas, I also got in these army green pants. And y'all, that is my favorite thing that came out of that pack. As soon as I saw those pants, I thought about that hat and I thought about that jacket and I put it together and took a few pictures and I was like, oh, this is beautiful. So again, he cannot wear the jacket, but hey, you throw it over that arm and it looks cute in a picture. Like, you know, he finna go out with his girl and they, you know, finna do it up in army green. Anyway, so... What else do I want to go over up here? Oh, yes, over here. So let me move this one.
Okay, so the other thing, I got this jacket off of Timu. This jacket actually, I thought I was just ordering the jacket, but I was pleasantly surprised because it actually came with, and I have them right here. Um, the jacket came with a doll. Well, I thought I had them right there. Oh well, but the jacket came with, he had a whole doll, whole outfit, and it was like black shoes, black slacks, and then a white shirt, not a good white shirt at all, and then this jacket. But I love this jacket because I'm also trying to put me together like a little Wednesday Adams Family black and white you know, outfits for my dolls so I can celebrate some of the other Instagram things that they do. And I loved this jacket. So that was like a really fun buy. I think it goes really cute with what we're trying to put together. And the jacket itself was worth like the six bucks to me, but then being able to get the slacks and the shirt and the other doll, it was like, it was a nice little bonus. Okay, and then over here we have our hats and bags and accessories and sunglasses. So these are Timu keychains that I thought would be great as like a briefcase looking bag. We have a rainbow high fanny pack and then we have our naturalista um, crossbody bag back there. I ordered hats off of Timu also. So I have my hat, you know, kind of coordinated with an outfit. We have some mini fashions there, sunglasses. And then over here, we have like our little collection of dress shoes. So, and I'm sure you're wondering why is there a spear in the back? Because I was like, this is Ken centric. So let's be honest, you're going to see some random like the horse head or spear or a tennis racket. Like, you know, when they was fighting on the beach in the movie, it was just, it cracked me up. And I was like, okay, I'm putting that spear in there because I think it works. But y'all, I love this little concept of doing this. And I can't wait till we actually get to the dollhouse where we're going to put everything together. I have decided that that Ken-centric dollhouse will include the fashion house, a barber shop, a little sweet shop, not sweet shop, like a little snack shop that you can go in and get like, you know, bagels or hot dogs, some ice cream. We're going to do a restaurant area with a bar and then I'm going to do some kind of outside area. That's, that's what I've decided on right now. It may change, it may tweak, but that is what I have. And then I'm just testing some stuff out. So... I just, I don't even know what to say. Like, I love everything that we got here. I love how it looks so good. And then we're going to be back. Like I said, y'all will get it in like a week or two, but I'm going to be right back here in a few minutes recording another video because we are going to do something really special in the next one. And I hope y'all come back and see what that is. So until next time, this is Jessica, the Dollhouse Curator. Thank you for visiting the Curated Dollhouse and going with me on this tour of our Kincentric fashion house and our performing art school dorm. There you go. So anyway, thank y'all. We'll be back next week with a whole new video and a whole new concept. Bye y'all.